Good morning. My name is Pamela Martin and I'm privileged to be Deputy Chancellor of the University of Adelaide. On behalf of the Chancellor, I declare this congregation to be in session. Distinguished guests, parents, relatives, friends and especially graduates, welcome to the University of Adelaide's graduation ceremony for the Faculty of Sciences. I wish to acknowledge the Ghana people, the original custodians of the Adelaide Plains and the land on which the University of Adelaide's campuses at North Terrace, Waite, Theberton and Roseworthy are built. It gives me great pleasure to welcome graduates of the Faculty of Sciences and to participate in your graduation ceremony today. A warm welcome also to your parents, relatives and friends who are here to mark your success and to celebrate with you. Graduation ceremonies are, I think, always inspiring and happy events for all those involved. The ceremony allows the university, your fellow graduates, family and friends to formally acknowledge your academic achievements and the hard work that's been required for you to successfully complete your courses. It's very important to recognise effort, to celebrate success and to mark the various milestones in people's lives. For many of you, this ceremony will mark the change from the world of study to the business world. Others may be moving to further study or perhaps still looking for the perfect job. Graduation day is an opportunity for, to, for you to reflect both on the past and on your futures. This may well be a very significant change in the direction in your life whatever directions your lives may take, the skills that you've acquired and developed here will stand you in good stead, not only in your working and professional life, but in your life generally. <clears throat> Deputy Chancellor. Hamish Ramsey is being admitted to the degree of Doctor of the University as a person who has rendered distinguished service to the University of Adelaide. Hamish Ramsey is a great friend to our university. His philanthropic spirit and belief in the transformative power of higher education has seen him generously support the advancement of scientific research at this university. The Ramsey Fellowships are used to encourage outstanding Australian doctoral graduates to return to Adelaide and use their scientific knowledge and experience to advance scientific research in Australia. These fellowships have helped to raise the profile of the University of Adelaide while supporting the next generation of groundbreaking scientists in this country. They reinforce the formidable reputation of the University of Adelaide as a centre of excellence both at home and overseas, and they also increase research opportunities that we would not otherwise be able to provide without such generous philanthropic support. In establishing the fellowships, Hamish Ramsey has fulfilled his late stepmother's wish to support scientific research. In 2009, he said, and I quote, science played a large part in the creating of the family assets. Those assets included Kiwi International, best known for manufacturing Kiwi shoe polish, now sold in almost 180 countries around the world. Hamish's connection to the sciences has been no doubt also shaped by his late father, Tom Ramsey, himself a graduate in science from the University of Melbourne. Hamish's leadership, vision and benefaction will help to ensure the future of outstanding science, university research that delivers real benefits to the local community. De Deputy Chancellor, I'm pleased and proud to present to you for admission to the degree of Doctor of the University, Mr. Hamish Ramsey. Thank you. 
Having presented Mr Ramsey with his doctorate, I'm really delighted that we now have him as our guest speaker today. Please welcome Mr Hamish Ramsey. Deputy Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, members of staff, and above all, and most importantly, graduates. I feel privileged and very honoured to receive this degree, also more colourful than I'm used to being at the moment. An old friend of mine did bring me down to earth a little when she reminded me that oh, I was amongst some fairly raffish company. The late Queen Mum, she said, had received a similar doctorate from a number of universities. However, that doesn't diminish my great feeling of honour. I understand that the more ancient graduates of these ceremonies are expected to hand out some Polonius-like advice to others. Looking back to my own extremely undistinguished academic career, I find no particular gems of wisdom, except perhaps that you cannot hope to pass second year engineering if you do no work at all during the year. So I have nothing but praise and congratulation for all of you who have had distinguished and hard won degrees and allow what amount of work that involves. Looking back over half a century of enjoyable professional life, mostly in structural engineering and architecture, a few moments at the pointier end of the building trade, the best piece of advice I can think of is to find whatever it is that you enjoy doing most and that will give you a living and go for it. On that particular note, I must say I've had nothing but admiration for the scientists I have been privileged to meet over the last five years or so. In a world still full of astonishing and willful ignorance, think of the creationists, religious fundamentalists, and does 10% of the US population still believe that the Earth is flat? It's entirely probable. The sciences seem to me to be the true keepers of the flame of knowledge, and usually for relatively little material reward. Further down the advice trail, the second best and only other piece I have is as follows. Don't ignore the common sense of colleagues, workmates and others who may have no university degrees whatever, but still may, from time to time, be able to pull your ass out of the fire. <laughs> and finally, on a far more serious note, I can say that this unearned and flattering degree is actually the fulfilment of an ancient prophecy. Those of you old or young enough to be familiar with a Doctor Who series of some decades ago, may remember the incarnation played by Tom Baker. His persona had a lot of curly hair, a long scarf and a revolting old hat. Back in the day, I also had a lot of curly hair, slightly unbelievable now, but true. A long scarf, but no hat, and was doing some consulting work at Wakery up on the river. Standing outside the pub and probably wondering where I had left my car, I was surprised but not alarmed when a young person came up and asked, excuse me, mister, are you Doctor Who? <laughs> I told the little chap, sadly no, but I know him well. <laughs> However, now the prophecy has come in part to pass. And I can confidently say to my grandson, who will understand the reference, trust me, I'm the doctor. <laughs> Thank you all very much for this great honor.
On behalf of the graduands and their guests attending this morning, I'd like to thank Dr Hamish Ramsey for his inspiring address and also to congratulate him on the recognition he is receiving today in becoming a doctor of the university. We are honoured that he has joined us on this special day to share his thoughts and his experiences. His words of encouragement and advice are greatly appreciated and we are reminded that education bestows upon us an enduring responsibility, that we must use the skills and knowledge that we have obtained over years of study and apply these as best we can to contribute to the betterment of society. Please join me in once again thanking Dr Hamish Ramsey. Deputy Chancellor, I, Professor Warren Bebbington, Vice Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and the whole university that the graduates who will be presented to you have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for admission to the awards for which they are so presented. I, Pamela Martin, Deputy Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the university, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privileges of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which they are so presented. I would ask you please to observe the university practice regarding applause for candidates for awards. For those receiving doctorates, you're invited to applaud each candidate as the Deputy Chancellor greets them. For other awards, please reserve your applause for individual candidates until after the last candidate for a particular award has been presented. We will, however, understand if enthusiasm overwhelms you. David Edwin Lewis has a PhD in Organic Chemistry from the University of Adelaide. He has lived in the United States for three decades and is currently Professor of Chemistry at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. He has wide research interests in chemistry, having used isotope effects to probe the mechanisms of chemical reactions, the synthetic organic chemistry to produce molecules for industry and medicine. For example, his internationally known work on fluorescent naphthalamides has applications from the automotive industry to surgery. He is also widely known as a chemical historian with his book, Early Russian Organic Chemists and Their Legacy, recently published by Springer. He is an outstanding educator and has written two textbooks on advanced organic chemistry. Deputy Chancellor, I, Robert Hill, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Sciences, present to you as a fit and proper person to be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Science in the University of Adelaide, David Edwin Lewis. Deputy Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Faculty of Sciences. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Functional Characteristics and Molecular Regulation of Lymphangiogenesis During Gecko Tail Regeneration, Evidence for the Roles of VEGFC, VEGFD and the Receptor VEGFR3, Helen Anna Blacker. For a thesis entitled Stable Isotopes of Estuarine Fish, Experimental Validations and Ecological Investigations, Alexandra Louise Bloomfield. For a thesis entitled Cellulose, Stem Strength and Endo-14B Gluconase Gene Family in Barley and Maize, Margaret Buchanan.
for a thesis entitled Oxidative Activation of Iron and Ruthenium Alkynyl Complexes Towards Square Shaped Molecules with Four Redox Active Metal Centres, Alexandra Maxime Bergen. for a thesis entitled Understanding the Regulation of the Metabolic Network Associated with Fermentative Hydrogen Production in Clostridium butyric butyricum, Guiquin Chi. For a thesis entitled Genes and Mechanisms Responsible for Beta-Glucose Metabolism in the Enologically Important Lactic Acid Bacterium Enococcus eni, Alana Capaldo. For a thesis entitled Development and Application of Novel Analytical Methods to the Identification, Formation and Fate of Two Important Wine Aroma Compounds, Dimitra Leocopolis Capone. For a thesis entitled Transcription Factors Important in the Regulation of Salinity Tolerance, Michael James Dow. For a thesis entitled A Genetic Analysis of Drought-Related Traits in Hexaploid Wheat, James Richard Edwards. For a thesis entitled Genetic Independence of Fat Depots in Cattle, Andrew Robert Egar. For a thesis entitled A Study into the Kinetic Formation and Oxidation States of Gold Nanoparticles <laughs> Produced via Laser Ablation Synthesis in Solution, Yuan Yan Fong. <laughs> for a thesis entitled Gold Mineralization in the Adelaide Fold Belt, Martin Greisman. For a thesis entitled Molecular Characterization of Metastatic Ovarian Cancer by Maori Imaging Mass Spectrometry, Ove Johan Ragnar Gustafsson. <laughs> for a thesis entitled Resources Data Resolution and Small Mammal Range Dynamics, Narissa Ann Haby. For a thesis entitled Condensed Tannin and Cell Wall Composition in Wine Grapes, Influence on Tannin Extraction from Grapes into Wine, Rachel Hanlon. <laughs> for a thesis entitled The Role of the Atypical Chemokine Receptor, CCXCKR, in Progression and Metastasis of Cancer, Yuka Harata Lee. For a thesis entitled Chemistry of Hydroxycinamate Esters and Their Role as Precursors to Decora Produced Off Flavour in Wine, Josh Lee Hickson. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Expression and Function of NPAS4 During Early Development, Thomas Stephen Claritch. For a thesis entitled Susceptibility of Native Plant Species to Phytophthora cinnamomai and the Spread of Phytophthora Dieback in South Australia, Kwai Kyong Hook. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Quantum Computation and a Universal Quantum Computer, Antonio Alberto Lagana. For a thesis entitled An Interdisciplinary Study of Maternal Productivity in Beef Cattle, Stephen John Lee. <laughs> For a thesis entitled The Synthesis and Biological Evaluation of Potential AVA-like Analogues, Prospective Substrates to Control Berry Ripening of Wine Grapes, Rui Lee.
for a thesis entitled Strength of Sea Urchin Herbivory and Condition from Biogeographic to Organismal Scales, Juan Pablo Lavore. For a thesis entitled The Allura Ore Body, a multidisciplinary study investigating geochemical, mineralogical, and geometallurgical ore characteristics, Gernot Christoph Leudel. For a thesis entitled The Barley Expansion Family, Maria Lombardi. For a thesis entitled Alternate Foraging Strategies and Population Structure of Adult Female Australian Sea Lions, Andrew Damon Lowther. For a thesis entitled Sex Ratio Theory Applied to a Macropod Marsupial, is reproduction by the Tamar Wallaby, Macropus eugenii, consistent with sex ratio theory, Aaron White Perryman. For a thesis entitled Identification of Downstream Target Genes and Analysis of Obesity-Related Variants of the BHLH PAS Transcription Factor Single-Minded One, Anne Raimondo. For a thesis entitled Hydrogen Peroxide Sensing with Microstructured Optical Fibres, Eric Peter Schartner. For a thesis entitled Soil Seed Banks and Vegetation Dynamics in an Acacia Paparocarpa Open Woodland, Emma Kate Steggles. <laughs> For a thesis entitled Functional Characterization of the Bali Zip 7 Zinc Transporter, Jing Wen Tiong. For a thesis entitled Effects of Dietary Alpha Linolenic Acid on Biosynthesis of N3 Long Chain Polyunsaturated Fatty Acids in Animals, Wai Chun Tu. For a thesis entitled Pathogen Eradication Using the Pistachio Dieback Bacterium as a Model, Vu Tan Tu An. For a thesis entitled Regulation of Candidate Genes in Black Point Formation in Bali, Kerry Ryan Walker. For a thesis entitled A Magnetic Spectrometer Analysis Method for Ultra High Energy Cosmic Ray Data, Benjamin James Whelan. For a thesis entitled Feeding and Breeding Ecology of Little Penguins, Eudiptula Minor in Eastern Great Australian Bight, Annalise Sasha Wiebkin. And for a thesis entitled Soft Glass Microstructured Optical Fibres for Nonlinear Applications, Wen Kui Zhang. To the degree of Master of Science Medical Physics, for a thesis entitled Voxel-Based Quantitative Analysis of Dependent Resolution Correction in Single Photon Emission Computed Tomography, Daniel Peter Badger. <coughs> to the degree of Master of Enology, Jai Ren. Yin Shan Wu. And Zhu Ji. Zhu also receives a graduate diploma in viticulture. To the degree of Master of Science Theoretical Physics, Mona Ibrahim Al Hazmi. To the degree of Master of Sustainability Advanced, Thomas Byrne. <laughs> to, 
to the degree of Master of Sustainability, Wamboy Gakenyi. and Jeffrey Dean Segbor. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Wine Business, Pamela Marisol Campusano Vallejos. <laughs> Zhao Sen Chen. <laughs> Martin Hirsch. Justin Robert Hodge, Masaneo Moraya, Supersit Pianchit Lertkajorn, Jaron Melissa Perchin, Lillian Anwin Walker. Michael Edward Werner, and Hao Young. <laughs> to the Graduate Diploma in Biotechnology, Plant Biotechnology, Juhiana Abdul Abbas Hantush Al Jabiri, <laughs> Samar Razuki Al Zaida, Mustafa Yasser Dawod and Shema Abdul Hassan Akul Nasrullah. <laughs> to the Graduate Certificate in Viticulture, Catriona Helen Foskett. To the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Food and Nutrition Science, Siok B. King. <laughs> to the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Science, Hayden Richard Rex Arbon. <laughs> Thomas William Choate. Peter Lee Edwards. Centaine Rebecca Kaisler Smith, <laughs> Karisic Alexander, Fergus Kiley, Matthew Koenig, Christopher Edward Mallam. Bonnie Joan Maynard, Huang Hua Ng, Frank Fotios Stamoulis, and Todd Jared Williams. To the degree of Bachelor of Agriculture, Tai Young Chi. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Food and Nutrition Science, Hao Chen. <laughs> Chu Jemin. <laughs> Hua Run Chuan. and Jia Min Tun. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Food Science and Technology, Liu He. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Matthew Peter Golobiowski. Peter William Hatcliffe. <laughs> James William Hempel. 
Samuel James Holt. Brett John Holmes. Matthew Thomas James. Tanya Jane. Christopher Patrick Knight. Astrid Claire Lane. Yun Yu Lau. Philip Chi Hu Lu. Tiffany Louise Meagle. James Wilton Nankerville. Kanjana Obramwan. Eliza K. Penascoza. Elaine May Penascoza. Alira Ann Perks. Su Shen Fan. Jessica Proctor. Catherine Joy Reed. Catherine also receives the Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Jessica Lee Ryan. Arjan Singh. Hayden Leonard Stevens. Claire Michelle Thomas. And Pantia Zayai. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Animal Science, Catherine Mary Ferez, Chelsea Maurice Graham. and Thomas Jordan Hill. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Biomedical Science, Timothy Michael Davies, Dawn Theanne Gecklian, <laughs> Narissa Luckin, Wan Yi Liu, Wilson Lim, Remy Sky Marshall, Michael Llewellyn Mogford, Eve Adele Rates. Andrew Peter Shoebridge. Tio Chiang Chu. Surin Kumar Thamil Selvan. <coughs> Stephanie Waters. And Yi Fon Jian. To the degree of Bachelor of Science Biotechnology, Charlotte Alexandra Beryl, Kok Leung Chu, and Frederick Chia Yong N. To the degree of Bachelor of Science Marine Biology, Edward David John Barnes. Rebecca Jade Kosh and Henry Kiffin Wilson. <laughs> to, 
to the degree of Bachelor of Science, Molecular and Drug Design, Michelle Claire Cruikshank. To the degree of Bachelor of Science, Molecular Biology, Helen Frances Dockrell. To the degree of Bachelor of Science, Natural Resources, Michelle Clark. To the degree of Bachelor of Viticulture and Enology, Brendan Geringer. To the degree of Bachelor of Wine Marketing, Jessica Amy Majerik. And Yi Zhi Zhang. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the mace bearer, Joss Hickson, the musicians and singer, and all the staff and student volunteers who assisted in the organization and running of the ceremony. I invite you all to light refreshments in the Eclipse function room on level four of the Union Building on the lower level of the campus. There is signage to direct you to the Hub Central where photographers, framing and other merchandise will be available. I have great pleasure in congratulating all the new graduates here today. As graduates of the University of Adelaide, you are also its alumni and ambassadors. Over the years since the University of Adelaide was established, and we are the third oldest university in Australia, its alumni have made an enormous contribution to the community, both here and throughout the world. You have a stake in this great institution because the qualifications it has given you and your experiences while here are yours for life. Your knowledge, friendship and active participation and interest in the university's ongoing development are very important to its continuing reputation and strength. And I invite you to stay in contact with us via the online community, Adelaide Online, and you will receive login details and a membership card over the next month. University students learn how to learn. They learn skills such as how to organise thoughts, how to find and evaluate information, and how to present an argument clearly and logically and succinctly. All these skills are invaluable in any workplace. As you leave this phase of your life, you join the thousands of graduates from this university who have made and continue to make a contribution to society. I hope that you grasp the opportunities that present themselves and that you are successful in your future endeavours. I congratulate you all on your achievements and wish you all a, a, an enjoyable day of celebration. And now I would ask that the new graduates remain seated and the audience now stand and join in congratulating the graduates on their achievements.
now would the audience remain standing and the graduates now please stand for the academic procession followed by the VIP guests and graduates. I now declare this congregation to be adjourned.